is now facing one of the most deadliest corona waves across the country. More than 350,000 daily cases are being registered in India. If the same number continues being spread for a month, around 10 million people can be affected within a month across India. India's health system has failed and some locals are even out of wood to burn the bodies of the dead. So let's see how COVID-19 spread in India and who is to blame for it. Whilst countries like New Zealand, Qatar and even Taiwan were taking real steps to prevent the outspread of COVID-19, Indian government were busy instigating violence and hatred against Muslims. The Tablighi Jamaat Markas of Nizamuddin in Delhi. Earlier this week, a legislator from the governing Bharatiya Janta Party told his constituents not to buy vegetables from Muslim vendors. Muslim vegetable vendors are spitting on the vegetables, putting saliva on them and then selling the vegetables. Television channels and social media showed fake videos of Muslims breaking lockdown guidelines and social distancing norms. Hashtags such as Corona Jihad and Corona Terrorism began to trend on Twitter. Unforgiving steps to teach groups like the Markas a lesson. Analysts say that while other groups have broken lockdown rules, Muslims are being targeted. It's a clear case of Islamophobia. Islam is being said to be responsible for having motivated these people to go and infect a predominantly Hindu country. That is the kind of narrative which has been built. The instigation of hatred has led to the increase of murders and violence against Muslims, continuing Modi's dark criminal past since the days of Gujarat. After asking my name, they said, you're a Muslim, you've destroyed the country, you've spread coronavirus, and then started beating me with sticks. Just a little more than six weeks ago, Modi, without even 1% of the population vaccinated, declared that the country was the world's pharmacy and signaled that pre-pandemic life could resume. Super spreading took place when thousands filled cricket stadiums and millions of Hindus took to dip in Ganges during the Kumbh Mela festival. New York Times mentions that Modi's COVID-19 task force didn't meet for months. His health minister assured the public only in March that India had reached the pandemic's end game. Indian Prime Minister Modi and the BJP have come under fire for holding several mass rallies with thousands in attendance between March and April. And now, a second wave has made India the worst hit country in the world. So isn't it time to prevent this party from causing more havoc and to hold them accountable for all the hatred, violence and chaos they've caused in this country? Where at the end, millions of people's lives have been put to danger for the benefit of this extremist political party.